Malnutrition is more common in India than in sub-Saharan Africa. One in every three malnourished children in the world lives in India. This, of course, being the dark underbelly, India on the verge of superpower status. But even though these grim statistics are now common knowledge, tonight we are focusing on what can be done to turn the story around. Joining me, of course, a very special panel this evening. I've spoken to Sam Petroda, advisor to the Prime Minister on Public Information, Infrastructure and Innovations. Shamila Tagore, UNICEF's brand ambassador for maternal and infant health with us on the program. Uh, Mohandas Pai is also with us, as is uh, uh, Sandeep Dixit, Lok Sabha uh, MP. Also his colleague Kalikesh Singh Deo, another Lok Sabha MP. And of course, uh, Dr. Reddy, President, Public Health Foundation of India. Thanks all so much for being with us on the program. Uh, like I said, I'd spoken to Mr. Petroda a while back. I began by asking him the IT revolution in India, of course, one that we know was scripted by him. But at the same time, we have children dying hungry every day, families going to bed without any food, the familiar uh, India-Bharat divide? Well, we have to start somewhere. We all agree that there are bigger challenges in India related to water, sanitation, hunger, malnutrition. These are all the challenges in many developing world and we are not any different. Right. In seven years, malnutrition rates down by just 1%. Where is the failure, sir? Well, I think it's not a matter of just failing in one area. The main issue really is first, do we really have good data on malnutrition? Two, recognize the fact that malnutrition involves a very complex ecosystem from water to vitamins to food to distribution and every one of these sort of uh, has to work well and work together. I think there are probably larger problems related to logistics than anything else. We do know that we have enough food in the country. The question is, is it reaching the right place? Right, that would, of course, be nothing short of another revolution uh, that you could perhaps lead. You have said that the aim is to end hunger in India by 2020. Food banks, of course, one solution. You've talked at length about the others. But many people would really argue that the shadow of corruption, of, of all of this not reaching those who it's intended for, is going to derail any such mega ambitious project. I always believe in going forward. I always believe in glass to be half full. So I think you have to keep trying. You know, if you become cynical and negative, you don't do anything. Not only that, but you also discourage a lot of people who are trying to do some good. So I believe, at the end of the day, community must take responsibility to feed hungry. It is not just the responsibility of the government. All communities take responsibilities to feed local hungry people, whether they are children or others. And there also, I believe, logistics will play an important role. And that's where technology intervention is going to be critical. Uh, Sandeep you know, you know, most people, you know, when we, we talk about malnourishment in the country, sit back and say, there is food rotting in this country. You know, it lies out there, and all that grain that is just going down the drain, quite literally, rats attacking it, rodents constantly, and we can't feed hungry. Where, where do you believe lies the problem? Is we just cannot seem to find this balance. You know, it's a great puzzle. Hmm. And uh, much of what uh, Petroda Saab said and much of your, what you're saying, hmm. while on, on a national scale, there is a grain surplus. Hmm. We're just not able to somewhere hmm. settle that whole business of taking the grain back now. Hmm. Either there is an issue that uh, we have over centralized the system of grain procurement and distribution mm. that could be an aspect i mean mm. your issue of the fact that there is uh, there could be dishonesty and corruption mm. and leakages mm. i mean th that's one part of it but, but i believe that is there is a problem that, that somewhere is, i think in right. the setting up of the pds system which is initially mm. basically for the towns mm. we've kind of somewhere uh, broken the natural cycle mm. of distribution production mm. and distribution mm. in local communities mm. And maybe something of this exists mm. from there. Because mm. what has also puzzled me is that, you know, I've been, uh, I, you know, in my days of working with non-governmental organizations, I've been working since 87. Mm. And I myself saw that there is more grain today. Mm. 
Hmm. There is more variety of food today. Of course, hmm. cereal, the coarse cereals have gone. Hmm. That's a tragedy. Hmm. But in some senses, there is more availability. Right. Somewhere there is more money in the hmm. pocket. I'm not hmm. saying it's a massive change, but there is. Hmm. In spite of that, this critical aspect this. has been stagnating. Right. Right. And that's saddening, that's worrying. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.